I'm joined on the stage by two of the uh, more powerful ladies we have in South African sport. Uh, Marissa Langeni, SA Hockey Association CEO, as well as Zanele Situ, a, a bronze medalist at the Rio Paralympics, and she's won four medals at the Paralympics. She's been a world champion. We're going to talk about the SA Sports Awards with both of you. Welcome to Sport at 10. Thank, Thank you. you. You guys are ready? Yes. You, I, I'm giving so. you a lot of energy, and then the two of you are like, we're ready you. because we're here. You're, you're here. And thanks for flying up, uh, Zanele. But before we do that, Marissa, when is it? You're one of the judges. You're actually the main convener of the judges. You're the big boss. How hard was that? Give us a sense of what you've been up to. Yes, the awards are coming up at the last weekend of November, around 26th, 27th of November. Mm. As you say, um, yes, I'm a member of the judging panel. I don't think I'm the main one. I but was told that you're the big boss. But we all vote, and we all have an equal vote. So, Zanelli, you don't have to really speak to me. Uh -huh. <laughs> but, yes, um, a very difficult exercise, I must say. Very exciting for South Africans. I think that generally the whole purpose of the awards is to honor our athletes. And I think as South Africa, we are a proud sporting nation, and it is time that we always honor on our athletes and that's what the sports awards does zanelli nominated for the sa sports awards how are you feeling <sighs> i'm good thanks <laughs> i'm happy um i'm excited you're also a true champion and a true hero for south african sport i mean the first black woman to ever win a paralympic medal and your first one was gold you then back that up with a bronze medal. You've done it so many times. I need to just shine for you because I think you're a little bit uh, on the humble side. <laughs> five Paralympians. You've been to the Paralympics five times. How do you keep going? Training, enjoying. So I think it's the main thing to enjoy. Because if you don't enjoy, you end up um, quitting, even if it's a job. But if you enjoy it and you love it, because everything is out of your heart. Mm. So it's the same like a school child. If the school child doesn't enjoy school, they end up in the street because they don't enjoy. But you start with the enjoy that after enjoyment. Sometimes there is a difficulty in between. But you keep going. After everything, there is a, a award. It doesn't matter what mm. is it. Because as a school child, you get, um, you pass. When you're working, you get a bonus. So everything has got a something. And Marissa, I know you share the sentiment mm. with me. One of our proudest moments, one of those goosebump moments, is the opening ceremony for the Paralympics. Absolutely. I think um, if you watch that as a South African, you really stand out and you think we are also there. You know, <coughs> we are there amongst the best in the world. And then I see Zanele with the flag. Yes. Leading the team South Africa out. You're smiling so broadly. <laughs> Was that like a powerful moment for you? Mm, I will say yes. I enjoyed. Um, I did have fun. Um, I really did try to lift it high to show that the South Africans are also there with us, although they didn't all go there, but mm. they were behind us in everything to show people that when you do something, you really you have to do with all your heart because our supporters were with us even the whole night because the games were this side in the middle of the night, but mm. they were always I awake, were awake like you guys. I was, were I, we were 24 awake. hours awake <laughs> to see what's happening. So I really did enjoy and I was praying inside if we can do well because the flag means a lot. Okay, now I'm gonna expose something as well because I just wanna check something very quickly with you. You're 45. Now, I've told everyone, your age is out there. <laughs> now, Ntando Matlangu is 14. Yes. And he's in the same, 31 years age difference, but you're in the same team. <laughs> How is that even <laughs> possible? We don't have the, we don't use ages uh. in the Paralympics. You just use the, the classes. But were you able to lead him? Like a young man like that, were you like the mother figure there? Were you able to give the team that uh, motivation that it needed? Yes. All of us, when we meet, even for nationally, when you meet, you see somebody who is new in the team, just go to that person, you talk to the person, how did you became whatever mm. um, problem you have got? Then we take it from there. The next day when I see you again, I remember I did this, see this person somewhere. Then we take it from there, we go forward. So 
everybody, we motivate that person so, okay, here, things are like this, one, two, three, then you go forward. How did you fall in love with javelin throwing? <laughs> I did, so it at school, at special school, um, it was my first year in Umtata after I, ke, I got sick, uh. then I ended up on wheelchair, then I saw it in Umtata. You were 12 years age? Yeah. So I saw this thing, then I did enjoy to do it because I see people, they, they were already those who are going nationally. So I did enjoy to do it. Then I take it from there, but I didn't like to go for, uh, for competing. I didn't like to go outside. I did love to do what it. What was your school. I don't know. I, even when I was still young, before I get sick, at school, if there is a concert, I won't tell my parents. On Sunday late, I will tell them, oh, there is a concert in school. I know I won't go, you know. So I, was, I did grow up like that. So even then, I didn't really like to but go outside. I don't know. Now you've been to Sydney Olympics, uh, Paralympics. You were in Athens, China. Uh, you've gone to uh, Rio. You've been in London. For someone who doesn't like to travel, hey, man, yeah, you've really <laughs> picked now, up the traveling now, since I, then. We can go away. If I have to go compete, I compete. The day I'm done, I will tell you, I just need to go back. How big is it going to be, Marissa? Because I know Zanella will be there. She'll be on the edge of her chair. She's there nominated among some top athletes. How big is this sports awards, the SA Sports Awards, going to be? Bloemfontein coming up uh, towards the end of the month. Yeah, I think the city of Mangaung is waiting for us. I think the last awards, I mean, if you know our minister, Minister Rasmut has, we don't do things in small measures. Mm. So, yes, we expect a huge, huge successful event. I think last year they even had um, park experiences. They had all the performers. So I'm expecting fireworks in Mangaung. Big awards. What happens in the big categories? In the big categories, we obviously have got People's Choice. As you know, that two years ago, there was a lot of talk about... Mm, are these the right athletes? Is South Africa voting for excellence? Is South Africa voting for talent and performance? Mm. So there was a bit of a change. So we said, okay, fine, we'll have people's choice where really the public can vote. And the public can choose their preferred um, athlete. And then there was a sports star, mm. which is obviously by the, by the journalistic panel. So in both those categories, the prize money is a million bucks. Yo! One meter. million rand. Marunga, Zanella, don't worry, because <laughs> in your category, winner can get, take, take away 130,000. Monga winner. It's a million rand, but I must specify. No, I don't know, but 430 already we share hold up, possibly Monga winner. That can be nice. In a sense? Big time. Yeah? Big. A lot. And the, it depends. Hey, wonders. That's the one that then can come there. I just get a house, then I'm free. Zanele, you are in the <laughs> running. I can't <laughs> promise the judges no, no. are going to do their thing. I, I know. Also campaign, and maybe we'll Don't campaign. And 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 please, just help it. No, I'm joking, I'm joking. <laughs> um, thank you, ladies. It's been great. I can't uh, wait for the awards. It's going to be fantastic. And all the best as a nominee for the SA Sports Awards, Zanele, and a real hero for South African sport. You've been doing it so many times. Uh, can we now say it's done? No more Paralympics for you? Five gone? Is it done? It's still another year for the Olympics, Mos. So that means they're still a way forward. So... My wheels, are are still 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 my wheels are still turning. <laughs> hey, break that record. <laughs> Go to the sixth one. That LSC2 with us here on Sport at 10. We'll